Hey guys, this is an exquisite wall decor with a Moroccan themed design. I also made matching vases. And I also want to let you guys know that this is a collaboration video with Ladej Creations. We're going to be making use of silver beads and fuzz sticks more for this collaboration. And I have to say that she is an excellent and an amazing crafter and I love her work. She's a remarkable person and I like you guys to go out and check out her channel for more inspiring decors. The link to her channel will be in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I did was to arrange craft sticks that I'm going to be using to make a frame. I'm using a ruler here to align the sticks together just to make sure that they come out straight. I made four of these and I'm going to be using it to form a frame for the design. I glued all four sides with an E6000 glue and then I took an embroidery hoop and placed it in the middle and then I cut a craft stick into two. So I used two, so making four and glued it onto the four sides to support the embroidery hoop. And then I glued two craft sticks together and made four sets of these and glued them onto the design. I then took it outside and I spray painted it silver and I forgot to take a picture of the whole outer frame after it has been spray painted but it's going to be shown as the video goes on. I drew out a shape that I wanted on a trifle board and I made four pieces and I spray painted them silver. I'm going to be covering up the sides with silver beads. I did this for all four pieces and kept them aside. Moving on to the fuzzy sticks. I'm going to be making curls at the upper sides or at the tips of all the fuzzy sticks that I'm going to be using. And I'm using the pencil to give me a perfect curve at the tip. And I'm going to be using different lengths throughout the project. Now I'm going to be gluing two in the middle of the shapes that I made earlier. I repeated the same steps for all four pieces and then I glued them onto the middle of the design within the embroidery hoop. Now I'm going to be taking the fuzzy sticks, the curled fuzzy sticks, to make a pattern at the four corners of the design. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I will be repeating this pattern for all four sides. And this is what it looks like. And then I also placed more fuzzy sticks at the other four sides. This is another pattern that I'm going to be making. And I'm going to be putting it right here. It's easy to glue it on to the wood. That's the embroidery hoop for better support. So this is what I'm going to be doing all around. When I was done with this first set, I made another set on top of the first set of fuzzy sticks and then I made longer fuzzy sticks and I glued them to the four corners. I'm going to be covering all of the craft sticks with silver beads. It is much easier to glue one set of beads first 
on one side and then the other one on the other side and then the last one in the middle for better accuracy. I glued beads around the edges of the mirror that I'm going to be using also and glued it to the middle of the design. I later added more fuzzy sticks to the board in the middle. Because I wanted to cover up the open spaces in between the boards, I made extra four boards but smaller in sizes and covered up the edges with silver beads. And then I turned the design over and I'm going to be gluing on the extra pieces that I made like this. And then I also glued a hook that I'm going to be using to mount it on the wall. I'm going to be adding these blue gems also to the design to make it more interesting. But of course, you can use any other gem color of your choice. And this is what it looks like. And now let's move on to the vase. This is an IKEA vase that's large that I like to use to make a sort of pattern that would go with the one that's on the wall. And now I'm gonna take longer fuzzy sticks and making a curl at the tip, and I'm gonna glue it on to the vase. Now I'm going to be adding shorter ones by the sides. You can also use a strong adhesive together with a hot glue just to make sure that it has a better hold onto the glass. I made three sets of this pattern all around the vase and this is what it looks like. It was looking kind of scanty so I added more in between each of the previous patterns. Now because for this particular collaboration we're going to be using more of the fuzzy sticks and silver beads, I'm going to be gluing on silver beads in between all of the fuzzy sticks. I'm going to be adding blue gems also, just to make sure that it flows together with the one that's on the wall. I put a vase lighting that uses a remote inside the vase and this is what it looks like. I kept that aside and then I'm going to make another one using a smaller vase that I covered the outside and I spray painted the inside white. And then I made an extra design on it and this is what it looks like also. The possibilities are endless with these fuzzy sticks. I had no idea that they had so much potential. I really love the way they all turn out for both the wall decor and the vases. The larger vase can also be used as a stand. You can also use a smaller vase to put in your makeup brushes. I forgot to mention that I used white gems also. So I used blue gems and white gems for the wall decor. I really love the Moroccan vibe that this design is giving off. I love the shininess around us and especially the use of the blue gems. Like I said, you can use any other gem color of your choice. Now let me know what you think about this decor in the comment section below and remember to visit Ladej Creations to find out how she incorporated the fuzzy sticks and the silver beads into her own decor. I really hope you enjoyed this video and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.